small cell lung cancer is a very heterogeneous disease. And I think the way we've treated it over the years is as if it were you know, a homogeneous disease with a one size fits all approach. Over the years, one of the things that has been very evident is that we do need to identify subsets of patients with small cell lung cancer that may benefit from differential therapies. And certainly biomarkers are essential for that. So over the years, extensive research by multiple investigators um, have led to the finding that you can um, actually identify four subsets of small cell lung cancer based on key differential expression of transcription factors. So we have S SCLC, or small cell lung cancer, A, N, P, and then the fourth one, which is a triple negative um, considered subset, is the SCLC inflamed, or I, previously thought to be YAP1, and there's still some controversy on the I versus YAP in terms of, you know, what is the role of each one. But suffice it to say that I think the most interesting clinical finding that we've seen that at this point is still exploratory, but gives us some insight on the potential clinical application of these subsets, is that an exploratory analysis of both Empower 133 and the Caspian, which were major landmark trials that established the use of chemoimmunotherapy in frontline for small cell lung cancer patients, is that for the patients that had SCLCI inflamed subset or YAP, that these patients derived greater benefit from the addition of immunotherapy. Highlighting that perhaps this is a subset of patients that we need to focus on in a prospective fashion in clinical trials to really identify if they are the 10% of patients who really derive the greatest benefit from these therapies. In addition to that, preclinical studies have also suggested that there are certain markers that are more likely to be expressed in some of these subsets, which could again you know, be a target population uh, for the development of new therapies. Another example is for patients that have SCLC a um, or ASCL1, that these patients may have higher expression of DLL3. And we are developing DL DLL3 targeting agents, bite agents like terlatumab, CAR, targeting DLL3. And perhaps, again, this is a population that we should focus on, um, that they may have higher expression of these targets and perhaps derive greater benefit from these therapies. All of this is very interesting, and I think it's really generating a lot of enthusiasm that we can incorporate these subsets in future clinical trials and really define therapies based on a patient's disease in a more personalized way.